This is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. It is nighttime in Texas. The light of a campfire flickers gently against the mountainside. Beside it sits a cowboy. Gee, I love camping. The campfire coffee that tastes like burnt mud. The lingering aroma of a passing cow. Gee, it's him. Come here. Don't go away. There's no need to spit. Oh, Tex, I think I've killed it. Meanwhile, in the sky above them... By the bold birds of Spot! What's happening? Babbling the on, Spotty! It's about time you learned to fly straight! But it's not me, Super Ted! Me, it's my rocket pack! Me, it's totally out of control! Well, if you keep flying on like that, we'll never get there. We'd better look for somewhere to land. Yes. Below them, around the campfire. Tell us a story, Tex. Tex? I'll tell you a story, Skeleton. Oh, no, please. The one about how I first met Tex. Oh, no, 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 not that one. Please, no. It was a lovely prison. I had a cell all of my own. And he gave me this lovely suit to wear. With pretty little arrows on it. And every day, I would feed those beautiful birds. Yeah. I'd never had a visitor before. From the start, I knew there was a mysterious force binding us together. I could get rid of this chain. I'd be out of here like a shot. Out? Get out? Why? There ain't a jail in the world that can hold Texas. <laughs> no, now, all we need is a metal bar, and we can dig our way out. No. No. Metal bar? I know where there's a metal bar. Why the nincompoop? <laughs> Why the... What are we waiting for? Yeah, now we can dig our tunnel. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Just my luck. <laughs> and then we ran across the swamp. Just the two of us, the wind blowing in our hair, the searchlights flashing across the dark sky. It was magic. Hey, look, a graveyard. There's a slab loose here. Quick, help me shift it. <coughs> right. Get in there. Uh, hey? Get in. Ah, all right. Ah! Ah! Do you mind barging in here without so much as a bow your leave? I could have been doing something really personal, and you can't. All right. No need to get oh. heated. Shh. Tex, I think I can hear oil. Oh, Would you do that for... I think we've lost them. Maybe we should call in that flying teddy bear. What's his name? When everyone had gone, we all crept out. I think I'll stay here. It's much more comfy. You're coming with us. I don't want anyone blabbing their mouth off. My mouth never blabs, thank you then, very much. Much later that night, I suppose it was a bit like this, we gazed at the crust, the, uh, the crust, the... The crystal vault of the firmament. The what? 
The sky, you fool. Yeah, and you noticed two shooting stars heading straight towards us. Just like that one up there. That? Oh, no. Tex? Tex! Bubbling the munch, buddy, come here where I can get hold of you. I can't help it. The mother of my, mother of my rocket pack's gone crazy. Oh, Look, Spotty, there's a clearing down there and a fire. Do you think you can manage to land, Spotty? Oh, I'll try, Super Dead. I'll, I'll try. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get away. Gotta get away. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never find me up here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's no one here. And where's Spotty? <laughs> oh, be careful, Spotty. You almost hit me. Oh, I'm sorry, Super Ted. Let's spend the night here. We'll never get home now. <clears throat> and it's such a wonderful night. Yes, but doesn't the sky look beautiful? Yes. The stars look so... <clears throat> look, Spotty. A shooting star. It's going to land right on top of us. Don't be silly, Spotty. Stars never land on top of you. <laughs> I told you! <laughs>